Well, hi guys, uh, today we're looking at how to draw the graph of 2x plus 1 and basically what I want you to do is look at the equation and uh, look at the two parts that you've got here. This uh, equation is basically the equation of a straight line. It's made up of two parts. These parts here where you've got the 2x and that part there which is the plus 1. I want to focus on the 2x here which um, gets few people confused. Um, so what I want to do is I want you to remember that 2x means 2 times x and x is called a variable so uh, what I mean by a variable is that I can just uh, replace it with uh, any numbers and I can get my answer so let me show you what I mean by that yeah so 2x plus 1 means 2 times x plus 1 so I can replace the x with any number that I like so what I can do is set up a table and what I'll do is I'm going to write the value of x and get my answer for y. Alright, now you'll notice that I've started uh, 0 in the middle and I've got 1, 2, 3 on that side and minus 1, minus 2. Uh, I'm going to need that whenever I draw a straight line graph uh, and I need negative values and positive values uh, for x okay and like I said to you x can be any number so I've chosen from minus 2 going all the way up to 3 now to work out the value of y all I have to do is change x into any of those numbers yeah add plus 1 to it and then get my, um, get my answer for y my advice is you always start with 0 uh, 1, 2 and 3 the positive numbers uh, and then you can sort of work out a pattern. So I'm going to do y is equal to 2 times 0 plus 1. So that gives me 2 times 0 is 0 plus 1. That's equal to 1. So that number here is 1. If I do it for x is equal to 1, so that's when x equal to 0. If I do it for when x is equal to 1, I get y is equal to 2 times 1 plus 1 so that's equal to 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3 so here I've got 3 and all you need to do is do it for 3 values for x so 0, 1, 2 and then you'll see a pattern and once you've found the pattern then you can fill up the whole table so let's do it for x is equal to 2 so y is equal to 2 times 2 plus 1 so that's when x is equal to 2 so I get y is equal to 4 plus 1 which is equal to 5 so that one here is 5 alright now once you've got it for three values I want you to look at your table and ask yourself whether you can see a pattern and most of the time you will if you go from 1 to 3 you're adding plus 2 if you're going from 3 to 5 you're adding plus 2 so the next number if I add plus 2 is going to become 7 to find the numbers before well, because I'm going backwards, I'm going to take away 2. 1 take away 2 is equal to minus 1. If I take away 2 again, I get minus 3. Okay, so that's the table done. Now we're going to go ahead and draw the graph for this equation using the table that I've worked out here. So my equation is y is equal to 2x plus 1. I'm going to set up a axis. I've got x and y here, 0. And um, I'm going to just put some numbers for x. One, two, three, minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. One, two, three. Okay, so when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. So x is here, y is here. When x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. So there's my first cross. When x is equal to 1, y is equal to 3. So when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 3. So that's there. Um, when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 5. So when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 5. That's beyond my axis here so I can't draw it so let's do ones uh, from before when x is equal to minus 1 y is equal to minus 1 
when x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to minus 1, that goes right here. And once you've got three points, you can just join them up and draw your line. You don't have to do every single one of them. As long as you have three, then you're all right. So take a ruler and just join your three points. And you have a straight line. And finally, you can just label it as 2x plus 1. And job done. And can you also make sure you press the like button after watching this video. Thank you.